What's up, guys? Nepenthes here, and welcome back to another FC24 video. It is 6 p.m. It is Monday, and we're going to see what delights EA Sports have given us today. Obviously, today as well, guys, we did have the FC25 deep dive. So if you want to go and check that out, there'll be an annotation up here somewhere. And of course, if you're enjoying the content, feel free to drop a thumbs up on the video. Leave that like on here so YouTube know that you like what you see. Give you more of it. Do we have anything in live? No. <laughs> Do we have anything in seasonal? I don't know why I even check. Do we have anything in milestones? Even worse, checking. Do we have... For one, oh, wait. I've forgotten to do... I think it was William Saliba. Yeah, it was. I just I just know that I'm, like, overplaying this game in that regard because I started all these Evos and I just don't care to finish them. Look at that. Even even for Enketia, all I need to do is win one game by two goals to finish him off. Uh, we have got... Nothing. 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 Fair enough. No Evos today either. Which means it is going to come down solely to the SBCs. We have got nothing here anyway. Ever Benega. Wow. Four star, five star, five foot nine premium footies, high, high work rates. Can play CDM, center mid, and cam. Has got good shooting, great passing, very, very good dribbling, very good physicals, very good defending outside of heading accuracy and decent pace. He has got amazing play styles and play style pluses. Press proven, anticipate pinged and incisive pass plus. Travella, relentless technical. First touch, flare, intercept, long ball and whip pass, all awesome. And he is one squad. And that squad cost is an 86 rated, no team of equal team of the season. By all accounts, this is a really, really good card. And I guarantee you everyone hates it. If you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EAFC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. They already offer some of the best prices out there, but you can get an extra 6% off using promo code NEP at checkout. Yeah, but by, by all accounts, guys, this is, this is just a really good card, right? If you put a Maestro or a Marksman or a Shadow or an Anchor on him or an Engine, you are gonna you are gonna have a card that is just delightful. But because he's not ninety nine rated, or because he's not a pop culture player, like if that was Renato Sanchez with those exact same properties, the community would go wild for it. But because it's not a popular player IRL, people don't care. At least that's my perspective. Anyway, I think it's a pretty cool SBC. We have also got the 84 by 10. We've got an 87 plus player pick, an 85 by 10, which I'm going to do again. And then the 82 plus player pick is back. Love to see that. Right, footy's daily login upgrade. We will start here. Brother, why is that card good, lol? Why is that card good? I, ju I just explained why that card's good. Unless you're being like, why did EA make that card good? I think if he was 98 rated with those exact same properties as well, people would be like, oh my God, that's pretty sick. Right, so we've got. 87 plus player pick, repeatable three times a day, requires an 84 rated squad with a team of the week or a team of the season. That's not bad. Do I have a team of the season? I'm not using Allison because I actually bought him for uh, champs today. So I need a, a new team of the week or team of the season. Which I'm probably not going to have, am I? Look at all these team of the years though. Surely I've got one team of the season player. All right, this is a big rip. Might just use that. Allison, a CBA. I, I actually just don't have a team of the season player. Yeah, team of the weeks and team of the season is like 45k. So I'm obviously better off doing like a team of the week upgrade. But I just don't think I'm going to do that. All right, well, in Allison goes then. In Allison goes. This Listen. For an 87 plus player pick, you... Oh, man. I'm going to pretend that he's untradeable. Make it a lot more... Uh, a lot more manageable. I just believe that he's untradeable. I've got so much fodder to just do a, a team of the week player pick as well. I should stop being lazy and I should go and like make sure I've got on hand like, you know, 10 team of the weeks at all times. 
for situations just like this. Batch 3 will be better. Batch 3 will contain a lot more team of the seasons. Yeah, it will. What do we get in Batch 3 this Friday, aren't we? Only an 84 rated squad for an 87 plus player pick is actually all right, though, to be fair. All right, here we go. What are we going to get out of it? That's the question. Three of these per day. Woeful. Woeful. Oh, that was unlucky. That was unlucky. And then we've got the 85 by 10. And the 82 plus player pick. Now, I presume that this is exactly the same as always. Because it's the exact same player pick as it was last time around. And I'm correct. It's eight players with two rares. I think people are going to be generally very content with this. People are going to be well happy with this one. But um, nerfed? How have they been nerfed? 82 plus player picks surely should uh should be good, right? A lot better. How about that? I got a 91 Xavi out of mine. Um, yeah, 85 by 10 is good. I just don't have any team of the weeks or team of the seasons. Um, what else have we got today? So the players, nothing new. Upgrades, nothing outside of that. Challenges, nothing new. Icons, nothing new. I have, as you can see here, though, begun my uh, descent on Eto Exchange. Nothing new, obviously. I wonder what store packs we have got today. Another EA scam. What? What's? What's a scam? How is it a scam precisely? I'll tell you what has been a bit disappointing. And I think it's because EA know, right? The store packs have actually been really poor compared to like the Golasso promo and the Great Set of Game promo. There were some fantastic coin value packs during those promos. And I just don't think we have any of those, that great value in it this time around. Um, right. I'm going to I'm going to tell you why. And I know this is going to be an unpopular opinion. This is cool. This is cool. This, this, this do you know what this is actually quite cool. A team of the week or a team of the season and an 84 rated team for this is is very good. Um I knew he would be downvoted. I knew he would. But I think this is a brilliant card. A shadow chem style gives him great pace. Great defending. He's got good physicals, very good passing, very good dribbling, good shooting, and very good play styles. He's also four star, five star. An engine gives him great passing, good pace, great dribbling, very good defending and physical, and good shooting. A marksman. Look at those for stats. Like, how can you be displeased with that for a 31k card? 81 defending in August, just ain't it? Well, it is if you use him in attacking midfield, right? If you put a maestro on him. And he's got 99 passing, 99 shooting, 99 dribbling, very good physicals, good pace, five-star weak foot, and great play styles. Also, and, and again, this is this is where I, I personally find the community to be really strange, I think is the word I'm looking for. Because he doesn't have 88 defending, right? He has 70 heading accuracy, which massively brings out that rating down. And heading accuracy is manual, so it doesn't make any difference, right? He also has Anticipate Plus and Intercept, which means these defensive stats are more than good enough for him to be able to tackle the ball and make defensive, like, plays, let's say. He's got Technical with very good dribbling. He's got Press Proven with very good aggression and strength. He's got Incisive Pass and Ping Pass plus with insane defending. He's got Long Ball and Whip Pass, sorry, with insane passing, with insane passing. He's got first touch. He's got flair. He's got Travella. For, like, this is just, for, a, for the price of the card and for the stats and play styles he's got, it's just an all-round good card. It's just a good card. The, pro the problem is, as Viper says in the chat there, it's just a card that's so similar to so many other cards that we've got. Like, it, 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 And here's the thing for me personally. I think this is a good card for the price, right? I think if this was coming in at like an 86 and an 87 SBC, I'd be like, EA, what are you thinking about? This is just not, right? What is it? It's an 80, an 86 rate squad with no team of the week or no team of the season. It's so, it, it's just good value, right? Um, also, I think the Argentina links for him. Yeah, see, he's one of the top Argentine players. He fits in here. Who, who's a better Argentine midfielder than him? Mascherano, no. 
Oh, hold on. Hold on. Who's a better Argentine midfielder than him? McAllister, Dybala, Lo Celso, DePaul, Fernandez. <laughs> Never mind. Um, yeah. Po yeah. <laughs> po point, point taken. Um, yeah, for your Argent... Well, do, do you know what's funny? I was actually going to use Danny Olmo as the example. But, like, for example, this Lo Celso is a prime example. He's so common, like, out of rewards and out of packs and stuff. And that's why, like, this SBC in general is quite dead in that regard because people already have multiple players like this Lo Celso who's just a little bit better. It's, I, I am actually torn. Like, I'm, as I'm talking myself through this, I'm thinking to myself, I actually think this is a good card. I genuinely do. I think this is a good card. But for the price, I think this is a good card. I think there's a lot you could do with it to make it a, a really nice, usable card. But also, yeah, I like, I like a maestro on him a lot. Look at those stats, man. 99 shot power and long shots. High dribbling in every regard. Near perfect passing. Good physicals. Great. He, he's got really good play styles. I just don't think it's that bad. I don't think it's that bad. I think it's a fun one. I think it's a fun one. But I don't think anyone's going to be rocking him and being like, yeah, he's in my main team now. Good card for a two-hour road to glory. Yeah, it is a good card for a two-hour road to glory. It's free anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's cheap. It's cheap enough. It, it, it actually leaves me really torn. Because on the one hand, I, I'm looking at this card like, this is actually a pretty sick card for its price. And on the other hand, I'm like, this card wouldn't even get on the reserves of my Argentina team, let alone anywhere near my main team. And, uh, and it takes me back to my video yesterday where I kind of talked about where we're at with the game right now. And it feels like we're on, it feels like we're at the end. And we are at the end game cycle kind of situation, but we're not at the end. We've still got seven weeks left. Have we got to like endure another like three or four weeks of 96 and 97 rated SBCs before we start getting the 90, 98s and 99s to allow us to have fun in spite of the fact that we've had multiple 99s. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm torn. I'm torn. Either way, if you do this SBC, playing him in a defensive setup, a shadow is great for him. Playing him in an offensive setup, I think a maestro is absolutely banging for him. That is going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.